I'm gonna be presenting today, my senior project. There is a really personal project for me. Uh, that is that I created this song. And I'm gonna show you how I created it and the process of recording it. The song is called uh, La Batalla, that in, in English is the battle. And I'm gonna explain why I choose that name in a little bit later. And I'm gonna be covering uh, the creation of the song, where I did it, how I did it, who helped me, what kind of software I used, and all that stuff. So let's get started. The creation of the song. I took inspiration, uh, mainly melody-wise, from a lot of basically, uh, basically rock-based uh, bands, uh, mostly Venezuelan bands, uh, but I did took a couple uh, American bands. Uh, for example, there's these bands that are called Vinilo Versus, Los Mesoneros, and Verset, and the Arctic Monkeys. There's a really known American band, rock American band. And I want to show you at, le at least 30 seconds, a little bit of each, so you can see how I wanted to take a little bit from the inspiration. This first one is called, uh, uh, it's from Los Mesoneros. It's called Cuando Llega el Momento. Sing a little bit of it. Project. 
a lot uh, at least two guitars because I use one of mine. So I use three guitars in this, in this project, drums, uh, two basses, and the microphones to record voice. Uh, and I did play all of the instruments in this song. I didn't want no other hands because I want, it's a personal project. So I wanted to do every single instrument uh, and uh, anyone else. Uh, that. The device that I use to record is a device called uh, Alice's IO Dog, and basically it's a device that allows to connect your instrument uh, directly into any recording software. Uh, in this case, through uh, my iPad, uh, not my iPad, my iPhone, and his iPad. Uh, and it's the most important piece because without this, I couldn't do anything at all. Thanks to this, I record everything. I use this to record absolutely everything. And uh, like I said, I connected the iPhone and the iPad to it. I also record it with an amplifier, uh, but obviously I need something to catch the sound from the amplifier. So obviously it's a microphone. And the microphone is connected to this device. So without this, I couldn't have even done any single thing. Uh, the software that I use is a really known app that is called GarageBand. Uh, people normally use this to record simple things, but it's actually it lets you record semi-professional stuff. So it, it's a pretty good, it's a pretty good app. Uh, I decided not to use Pro Tools. Pro Tools is a, is basically the most famous recording software. Uh, but I decided not to use it because it's really complex. It's for professional musicians, and also it's really expensive. I think it's like six dollars. So I scratched that. I'm like, no. GarageBand is way easier. Uh, I can have it in my phone, it's kind of like a cloud, it's portable, and there's no physical panel. The panel is inside. So it was definitely yes. This is how it looks like. Uh, this is from an iPad. This is not my song, but I just wanted to show you here how you can have different instruments that you can choose from. And here are the actual tracks. You can see how here are the beats, here are the repetitions of the, the, the bass. The organ, so that's kind of like a picture of how it is. This one, it is actually my song, but from my phone. That's why it looks so small. Uh, and I want you to take a look at these parts right here. They are divided. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna talk about that a little later. Uh, also, in here, you can see that uh, here says Matt two, but Matt one, Matt two. That is not because he played it. That is just because the way that we label each sound, so we can know. Uh, what part is this, what instrument is this, and what sound is this. But I also, like I said, I play everything. Uh, things that I've learned throughout the process. Uh, the things that I've learned is mostly time and dedication. It takes a lot, a lot of time, way more than I thought. Like, this is not a thing that I just go, record, done. I have the song. This takes a lot of time because things go, go wrong throughout the process of recording. Things doesn't match like you thought it would be. Uh, and you definitely need to always be thinking about it. And that's why I say dedication, because you need to pay attention to the song and actually, like, every day, like, what about if I do this and it changes it because it doesn't make sense, and etc. cetera. Uh, a stereo sound. I learned uh, with him to do stereo sounds that is basically uh, sounds coming from different sides, from normally left and right. Uh, and, and I didn't even know how to do that before. Uh, and this is something that you can notice with headphones, with special speakers, uh, that has at least two, two speakers. Uh, and it basically just makes the sound a little bit more interesting. And you kind of feel like a band is in front of you because you hear instruments coming from different sides, like the bass coming from here, the drums coming from here, and the guitar only going through the middle. Uh, and it's kind of hard, like kind of weird to think about, but it's get gives like a more effective, like if it was a band in front of you. So that's pretty cool. Uh, doubling the sound, we run up into the problem that some of the instruments were sounding too soft, so uh, you can barely hear them. And me myself, I said, well, let's just raise the volume, right? That, that makes sense. And the problem with that is the garage bag is already unstable in that. So once you raise a little bit the volume, it ends up killing the sound of uh, mostly all the instruments. Uh, so what he taught me it was that you take the track 
that you that is really soft, and you duplicate it in a different track. So that what that does is like it's two tracks of the same instrument, same volume, but it gives more presence to the track, a little bit more volume, and without killing the other instruments. Volume. So that's really cool, and I didn't know that you can do it. Uh, creating new sounds from different sources. We made like at least 10 trials with uh, different pedal effects, especially for the guitar. Uh, with pedal effects like uh, reverb, and delay, and tremolo, a lot of different distortions, uh, a chorus, and we use different guitars. I think we use three guitars, and I basically I choose the one that I want that I like the most, and I combine them so I can get like an original sound, a different sound. And uh, I thought it was pretty cool because I would, I would never have the option to do that by myself, you know. But that's it. That. And here is the track that I wanted to, you guys still remember? Several tracks for each instrument. <coughs> Once you record, it's not like I said, it's not just like you plug, you play along, like the whole song throughout, and then you're done. That is not how it works. You take like, you chop the song into pieces into little parts, and then you play that part, first part first, then you hear it, you say, sounds right, okay, let's keep going, and you chop a little part, and then you keep recording, and that's how it goes, and you keep uh, those tracks, those, let me see those, those are different tracks, right, so you play one little part here, and then the other part here, and the other part here, then after that, you combine all in one 